Hey guys, it is NCS Fan 001 here, finally welcoming you guys back to another trophy list update, a weekly trophy list update, except that it's now been two weeks since the last one, so this will have covered Monday the 16th through Sunday the 29th of December 2019, so this will be the last update of 2019, so I hope you guys had a fantastic Christmas or holiday season, and I hope you are looking forward to New Year's, so... Uh, the reason this video is labeled a trophy and channel update is for pretty obvious reasons. I have uh, quite a bit to talk about from life as to why I wasn't uploading much for the last two weeks. Uh, I highly recommend you guys follow my Twitter to keep uh, better in touch with me. My Twitter will be linked in the description at ZPTV123. I update more frequently there than I will on YouTube as to exactly what was happening. But basically, I didn't have internet for the last two weeks. That's really the best way to put it. Well, the last week and a half, really. But uh, yeah, for the last like week and a half, I really have not had internet because I was helping my family get moved into a new house. Uh, my dad actually used to do construction and he built this house. So we were getting everything moved in. And I love the house. It's It looks great. It's the perfect size. Uh, it's awesome. I absolutely love it. It's in a great place. The only problem is that we don't have internet really there. We're having to piggyback off of my grandparents' internet because they live right next to us now. Uh, we have to piggyback off of theirs, and that was the solution we came up with on like Thursday. That's why I was able to upload anything at all in the last week and a half. So yeah, that that's really the entire reasoning is I just haven't had internet. It's been an awful situation because none of the companies like can get out there to do it. it it's so weird. Like it's hard to explain. It's just stupid and weird and annoying. I'm just not happy about that aspect of life. But it's okay. I mean, it just it's it's a thing. It, you know, it happens. It just happens. Uh, otherwise, for life updates, though, there was Christmas, and I got quite a bit of good stuff for Christmas, including the Outer Worlds and a pair of AirPods, which is going to be great for recording, most likely, because it means I can sit just a little bit further, or have my computer just a bit further away, so it's not all sort of jumbled up, because I have kind of a somewhat ghetto setup here, especially since I don't have a, like, a PC to record with. I record on a, uh, MacBook, so yeah, anyway, that's all a good thing to know about is that I got all that and it was a it was a fun Christmas got to spend a lot of time with family got to hang out a lot with lizard guy and some other friends me and him we would have streamed uh something one of those days but like I said we didn't have internet and I'm so sad about that because we actually played some really fun games like during the time we hung out three or four times and during that entire time we played two major games we played lovers in a dangerous space time which is actually really really fun I uh, would highly recommend checking that out if you're into co-op, although it's not like an easy platinum, I don't think. And we were also playing uh, Resident Evil 2 because he owns it, so that's why you can sort of see it down in my external drive folder in the bottom right. So we played that as well, and we actually beat Leon's scenario and got started on Claire's scenario. But it was, it was a lot of fun from what we played of it. I mean, we beat Leon's on the standard, on like the normal difficulty, not on hardcore. And we had a lot of fun playing it. And now I at least sort of know how the game works. And I don't think it's going to be too terribly difficult to get the Platinum Trophy in. But I still don't actually own the game. And I can only play it on his account because it's his game and it's his license. So eventually I will own it and play it for trophies but yeah that's uh that's the update for that game I will be excited to play that in the future uh what else has been going on like I said just hung out with friends a lot didn't record anything didn't really have the chance to didn't have internet for most of the time uh wasn't feeling 100 percent the entire time either but that's all over with now so we should be in good shape uh, as for actual trophies, I got literally one trophy in the last two weeks, and it's not... And I brought my Vita and stuff with me, too, to play, and I never even thought of playing it, so... It has not been a productive time period at all, but the one game I did do, Minecraft PlayStation 4 Edition, 100%. Now, I don't know if this is the last time that this base game will get any updates because it's at 123 trophies and games games can't have. It's either 125 or 128. I don't remember the exact number. So this game can have one more trophy update. Uh, but after that, it would have to go to a separate list and you no longer have to worry about the platinum trophy or anything. So yeah, it's actually very close to being done. 
but I had already finished Expansion Pack 12. This was done before, well before Christmas, finished those four trophies. The one trophy I got, the Master Trader Trophy. And I think this one, okay, no, I got this one before. Okay, I wasn't sure about that. Uh, Master Trader, trade for 1,000 emeralds. This trophy is really stupid. It should not have any right to exist. It's not even obtain 1,000 emeralds, which you could do very easily with creative mode. No, you have to trade for 1,000 emeralds because that makes any logical sense. Thankfully, there is a very easy way to exploit this trophy. You can still use the creative mo mode exploit with original game worlds and then convert those original game worlds into bedrock mode. So my suggestion is set up, like, go into a survival world and do the creative mode glitch. Uh, what you want to do is have a setup to where you have a giant pit where you just throw villager eggs in and just keep throwing in villager eggs from creative mode into there from survival mode and then whittle them down to just the characters that will trade or just whittle them down to whatever you want to trade for. I would say that I personally did it with characters that wanted to trade iron and coal were the two main things so then all you have to do is bring in a bunch of iron and coal with the creative exploit and that's all you really have to do so it's, it's really not that hard and i did it within just a pretty short amount of time so it really wasn't even all that difficult uh it's just a little bit time consuming it's just a really stupid trophy that it even exists but it's not really all that hard so with that minecraft is back to 100 percent Otherwise, though, like I said, I didn't really get to work on anything because I really hardly even played my PS4 at all. So I still really need to go back and do this now that it's doable and looks like a decent number of people have done it. Uh, Destiny 2 still logging in and doing what I need to do. At least I did last week. I haven't actually done it yet this week. So I have like five hours left to go log in and do the weekly activities like really quickly. Uh, from what I heard, this DLC is actually very easy. Both Power Picks and the PSN Profiles Guide have said it's easy, like a 2 to 3 out of 10, so that's all good. I don't think there's a raid boss or anything, which is great. Red Dead 2 have apparently got a whole bunch of single-player stuff, like, and they actually changed the gold medal trophy, you know, a year down the line. They changed it to where now you carry in all your equipment. So thanks for waiting until way after I did the Platinum Trophy to do that, uh, developers. I really appreciate that. Ha ha. So if you want to go back and play Red Dead 2, the Platinum has now gotten significantly easier because they made this trophy significantly easier. Now, the 100% is still there and it's still really quite, uh, quite a task and so is the level 50 trophy. But do keep that in mind that there is now new stuff in the single player, new stuff in the multiplayer, and the Platinum Trophy is now easier. I don't really think there's anything else that's gotten updates recently that I can... Yeah, there shouldn't have been. Fallout 76 still doesn't have any new DLC or anything, thankfully. Uh, yeah, that's really about it for all of that. So that was really it for the trophies that I earned because I only earned that one. But like I said, it was a good Christmas and I can't wait to get started on the Outer Worlds. Now, what is scheduling going to look like in the near future? This week may still be a little wonky because it's New Year's Eve tomorrow and then New Year's Day, and I'm off on New Year's Day. So I don't know exactly what's going to happen for this week. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do a New Year's Eve drunk stream or if I'm going to be going out bar crawling somewhere. That's probably the more likely of the two options, but we'll have to see. So regardless, this week might still be a little bit weird on scheduling, so we'll have to see about that, but then starting next week, things should really fully be back to normal, which I'm glad about. can finally get back on a consistent schedule to where it'll be, you know, Monday trophy list update, and I'll get back into doing more trophy hunting now that I'll have a little more time. Now that my schedule will be consistent, I'll have a little more time. Now that the holidays are over and my internet's back working again. I mean, that was just like, that was just tiring, and it just made me not feel like playing anything half the time and just... I had to help with moving into the house, and I was watching a lot of college football, Clemson going to the playoffs again. I'm excited and nervous because that's going to be a very difficult game. Uh, and then, as for games I'm going to work on, though, I do have quite a few ready. Like, I've been actually playing a little bit of Borderlands 3 working on another character. So I would have another character as for future DLCs if there turns out to be one that's easier with a specific character or something. So I'm doing that, actually, and then I need to get started on Killzone Shadowfall. I've actually looked at what I have to do, so now I kind of know what I have to do for Killzone Shadowfall, which is good. 
I thought I was going to get the chance to do Discovery, but I didn't because the person never messaged me back, even though we were trying to talk and we were going to play the game and he never messaged me back. And yeah, so that's unfortunate. So if anyone owns Discovery, please hit me up and we can get that one multiplayer trophy done. Or even if you've already gotten it done, I would appreciate someone being willing to jump in and help me just jump in for a couple seconds to get that one trophy out of the way. And then I got plenty of EU game EU game stacks to do, and I've got other Platinums around here somewhere. I don't even... This list of just random crap I gotta play. So I've got plenty of games to play. I also need to check out whatever this January sale is. I know that there's a few other things I might want to pick up. But that's really about it for this update. I know that this wasn't really that long of an update because I didn't have too much to talk about with games, just more of the life update. So, yeah, like I said, though, hopefully the schedule will get back to the normal stuff with Wednesday streams and Friday night drunk streams and maybe Saturday streams as well. We'll have to see. Uh, also, I still have a few more Fallout recipes that are done. I just need to edit them together. I'm also working on editing the next Fallout Challenge Run video down. So that'll be done hopefully in the near future. And then I actually almost kind of forgot about this. I just got the latest Fallout Loot Crate, like the most, like the fourth one from the second year finally got here because of the whole thing that happened with loot crates so yeah i'll have another loot crate unboxing if anyone still cares about that uh but yeah that's also a thing but really that's about it for now that's really about all i needed to talk about so like i said not the most exciting update but hopefully within these next few weeks things will get back to normal and i will have time to play and platinum a lot more games or at least start working on them. Like I said, I gotta start working on Killzone Shadowfall and Killzone Intercept. I also want to get finished with Resident Evil 5 on the PS3. If anyone wants to hit me up for Desperate Escape on the PS3, please let me know because I do not want to do that with an AI partner because that sounds like a terrible experience given that this one was already kind of hard enough on the PS4 version because this is like the hardest trophy in the entire game. So, yeah, that's really about it for this update. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, sorry again for all the delays and stuff. I highly suggest you follow me on my Twitter for more constant updates than on YouTube. And I will see you guys this week for hopefully getting back to a normal schedule.